If you're a subscriber of mine and you've noticed that my upload schedule is getting a little bit sparse recently, that's because I've been busy creating commercials for Uzki Vision, who you might know for making smartphone photography accessories like lenses, lights, and vlog kits. And it's really a no brainer for me to prioritize those videos because I can make more from a single commercial than I can from a whole month of YouTube ad revenue. But it was my YouTube content that put me on their radar and made them reach out to me in the first place. So that just reinforced my mantra of always try your best because you never know who's watching or what it's gonna lead to because that one view could be that person who's gonna give you that opportunity. And this was a brand new opportunity for me. It was my first time filming an advert and I think they turned out all right. But now I've got three Uzki Vision vlog kits that I'm honestly not going to use, no offense. Uh, so I thought I may as well give them away and I'm gonna tie in the giveaway to the main purpose of the video, which is to go a little bit behind the scenes and break down a few shots from these commercials. So at the end of today's video, I'm going to ask you three questions based on some of the things that I go through in the video itself. And you can DM me your answers on Instagram or Twitter at Pisikumao. And after two weeks, I'm gonna choose the winners randomly from those who answered correctly. Uzki Vision themselves, by the way, aren't involved in this giveaway whatsoever. It's completely my idea. I just said to them, hey, can I give these rockets away? And they said, yes. And that's it. And having dealt with them now since late May, they do seem like really cool people and they're not sponsoring me. They're not paying me to say that. That's my genuine opinion. So if you're into smartphone photography and you're on a budget, then it really won't hurt to check them out. Right, let's get into this behind the scenes, starting with the brief. The brief can be a detailed shot for shot, second by second breakdown that you cannot deviate from, or it could be as simple as this. And the brief is important because it gives you direction and it covers you when you deliver the final video, just in case the client decides to get funny with you. It does happen, so always get everything in writing and make sure they pay you a deposit. So my brief for these videos was the latter. Uzki simply wanted cool videos of people using their products and they wanted some unboxing videos as well and they were happy for me to figure everything out cool so with the brief confirmed i literally just sat in this very chair and visualized each video and as each shot came to me i just made a note of it exactly including transitions and things like that and this is a great example of planning to shoot and then shooting to edit that way everything goes as smoothly and as efficiently as possible you know these models aren't cheap you need to be like next 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 otherwise you end up out of pocket so let's see how this sequence ended up in the final video compared to my notes step and then bring it up into the air okay. as if you're like um like you're, you're very happy to be here. I'm out in nature. This is a, I've got this awesome vlog kit, and you're just like. Okay, and if you... is, is the shot on the... So this first shot took a few attempts to get right. I had to communicate to the model what I wanted, and then we had to work on matching our movements and getting the speed right. But we got there in the end. Go. Yeah, that's the one. I think that that might be the one. And go. I think that was the one. Nice. That was the one, see? We're getting it now. Let's go. Focus. And go. I think that was the one. Nice. That was the one. And in the edit, it is just a straight cut to the next shot where she brings the case down and slaps it on the old train platform. And this is definitely style over substance as it doesn't tell you anything about the product other than the case is hard and it protects the kit. And a lot of the shots I'm going to show you today don't actually serve the product in any way, but I include them simply because they look cool. They're visually interesting. They keep the video flowing. They're challenging and fun to create. And they're an advert for me and show what I can do. So this transition didn't quite work out. I needed to do some tinkering with the speed of the shots to make it work. And to do that in Final Cut Pro, you just choose where you want your shot to speed up or slow down and then press Shift 
B, which opens up speed ramping and then change the speed to whatever you want and the transition works much better. Add some whoosh sound effects, slap a lot on it and move on. Hey, time is money. I am not only starving, but I also this next shot from another video is the same sort of thing. Here though, instead of handheld, I'm on the Ronin S. And as this was the fourth shoot, by this time I was in a rhythm, in a groove, I knew what worked and what didn't work. So I had ideas just in my head. I didn't write anything down and I pretty much improvised the entire shoot. This bridge transition was a shot I'd had in my head beforehand where we see the model on the bridge and we transition down to her then under the bridge. And I wanted to not whip or pass over something dark to mask the transition. I wanted it to be slow and in plain sight. And again, this shot is meant to show off what I can do. It's what I call the money shot. Like when I was working as a cruise ship photographer and videographer and we would shoot weddings, I would uh, lean over to the other photographer I was working with and I'd be like, hey dude, this is the money shot. You know, meaning this is the shot that's gonna get us paid. So of course we shot this twice, once with her on the bridge and again with her under the bridge and I had to try and match the shots really closely in order to sell the transition because there wasn't going to be any quick movement or something passing in front of the camera to hide it. And like before it is a straight cut but if I go frame by frame you can see the two shots don't actually match up well at all. So why does this work? Well, I think it's because this section might not match, but the bridge does. If you watch the trajectory of the bridge in this shot, the next shot is a nice continuation of it. And I think that's what you're watching. You're not looking over here, you're looking here. So it's far from perfect, but when you watch it in real time, it works. And if I had more time, I could have shot more to ensure a better match between the shots and I could have spent more time in editing to make it look more seamless, but I didn't have that luxury. This final shot comes from one of the unboxing videos I made and I didn't just want to make your typical unboxing video, I wanted to make them different. So I took advantage of the freedom that they gave me and I did. My first attempt at stop motion there and we also have my visual effects debut which once I show you you can't unsee if you didn't already notice so it's basically just black string from a sewing kit tied onto the tripod at each end and the challenges were number one the tripod couldn't be properly in the box because if it was you had to pull the strings really hard to get it out and then it kind of popped out it didn't just like lift out smoothly number two i made the strings a little bit too short so i had to be careful not to get my hands in the shot and finally i couldn't get the shadows from my hands in the shot and after trying and failing to do it alone i recruited my wife and she grabbed the tripod while i did the puppeteering and the strings are fairly obvious but I think they disguise themselves quite well as a line on the tripod. So if you're not looking for them, I think it's not too bad. And then I added some light and dust effects as a bit of extra sauce and shot complete. So overall, I don't think these commercials turned out too bad. Us key like them, which as the paying client is the main thing, and hopefully they're the start of more to come for me as well. So, the giveaway. Three questions based on what you've just watched. First question. Which app do I use to make my shot lists? Second question. Did I make the strings too long or too short? And the third question, what are the model's names? DM me your answers on Instagram or Twitter at PisticoMau and I'll choose the winners from the correct ones at random in two weeks. 
I've got three kits to give away, so three chances to win. And these are the kits that we use to shoot the commercials with. So they have been out of the box and used a little bit. Uh, so the boxes themselves aren't in the best shape, but the kits inside them should be absolutely fine. They should work no problem. And again, thanks to Uzki Vision for letting me give these kits away. As I said, like they seem like really cool people. So if you are into stuff like this, like lights, um, microphones, lenses for your smartphone, stuff like that, then definitely check them out, especially if you're on a budget. So thank you for watching. Take care, stay curious. Good luck in the contest, in the giveaway and back around. subscriber of mine and you've noticed my upload schedule getting a little bit sparse recently well, that's because i've actually been busy making something what have i been making dave i've been creating commercials that's what i've been doing okay ha ah, beat you ha <laughs> usually they start their vehicles while i'm speaking but this time i finished and then the vehicle started because they don't just start their vehicle and drive away they start their vehicle and sit in it when it's just running at idle. Probably texting some bollocks. Then they will over rev and pull away loudly and slowly. See? Not making it up. See? I hit, I hit record and my quiet little suburban street suddenly becomes like Spaghetti Junction. It's the law.